So, so, it's Millis here and welcome to another one of my videos. So, today will be a tad different from what I usually tend to do because this time I am renovating a public lot. I am renovating the L'Oreal Library, um, which is in the heart of Rochester, that came with Discover University. So, by saying it's that different from what I usually do, <laughs> I mean I've never done a public lot. Um, so I've been playing The Sims since The Sims 1. I have been playing it for over 15 years now, which is quite a long time. Uh, and I have never done a uh, public lot. Of, I, I just think they're so intimidating to make. But Yesterday I went into my game, just wanted to check something, and it opened up on Brightchester, and I just looked straight into it and saw this awful L'Oreal library, um, and I was like, obviously done. I was just like, no, god no, I'm not looking at that build ever again. So what I did today is I took my iPad, opened Procreate, and started sketching out some plans of a library. So if you are not familiar with this fact, I am a architecture university student. So basically what I just did um, is a part of a job I will be doing after I graduate. Um, so I thought that was fun. Um, and I quite enjoyed it. Mm. And I do have to tell you that it will be a multiple part makeover. Because this part is, is just me um, doing the shell of the building and nothing else. And the video itself is around 15 minutes long. So... I'm just really sorry about that, but I just couldn't do it uh, in any other way. Um, so, what I decided to go with is the classical style. So, if you are not familiar with what I'm talking about, it's basically the style which is more or less consequently derived from the principles of Greek and Roman architecture. And if you still have no idea what the hell am I talking about, think of um, the US Congress or the White House or any other building that strikes you with that ancient look. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I didn't look at any other remakes of the library. I just went with my own plan. I did have a hard time, to be honest, um, choosing things. And I am not sure if um, the build itself, when I finish it, will look exactly as I will leave it um, when I finish this video. Um, probably not. I did struggle a bit with the placement of the doors because um, my genius self didn't think that the doors I would use could be three tiles wide. I mean, I knew that we have three tile doors and I was like, oh definitely the doors I was thinking about using are not three tiles. And then I go to the game and what the doors are indeed three tiles wide. Um, so I decided to do quite a open plan building um, because I think that you know dark libraries are quite intimidating um, and you just don't feel nice in them. So I decided to have this one be very airy we have a skylight going through all three levels um, and 
yeah as of right now we will have three floors we will have the first floor second floor and third floor um but i might add a basement later on mm, but i will have to see about that um and if you're wondering why the hell did i leave the middle empty i am planning to do like a huge study area down there so it would kind of look cool you, you know you go down the stairs and then you find yourself a seat and it kind of balances the space out um, a bit more and I also decided to have a garden um, the library will have a rooftop garden as well as a garden on the back of it the back garden will be teeny tiny because that's how much space I was left with mm. but I think I will be able to make it work oh and another thing I really rarely use the terrain tool but I really really wanted to have those kind of stairs leading to the entrance mm. so I had to play with the terrain tool I have no idea what I'm going to end up doing with the with the with the like sides of the, of the hill that I created probably will put loads of plants in it um and I'm planning to post the like all the videos from this build after I finish it um in case I will not finish it which I hope I do which I hope I will um so I think that in libraries you mostly have wooden floors mm, but as of right now I put marble in just because I thought that you know marble flooring is a bit um it's it's a bit more fancy and I really wanted this library to be like fancy schmancy that kind of stuff and you will see me non-stop changing my mind about things I just didn't want to cut them out because I know I am not a perfect person and I know many people do struggle with the fact that they cannot get the build right at their first try or something like that so I decided to leave everything in for everyone to see the everyone's struggles and I did have a bit of fun with the columns and for my build I often struggle with them looking good from the front so in the end you'll see me changing the front nearly completely but I think um, it looks 100 times better that way and the part you're watching did take me around 2-3 to, to three hours to make which to be honest is a long time um, but I had fun and because I decided to go with this huge skylight in the middle of the ceiling and open floor plan um, I had to play a bit with cutting out pieces of flooring and that kind of thing which was a bit of a pain but I managed um, and about the fencing around here I went with the black one you will see in a second but I am not sure about it I am still deliberating whether or not to change it mm. and I will have to really think about it because I love white and black but 
the kind of stark white flooring next to the black railing when the build is empty it looks kind of weird and I wanted to put uh, the railings on the stairs because it's a public lot um, meaning that you know you would usually have all the safety measures um, so people wouldn't you know fall down the stairs or something like that so I just wanted to keep it real and that black railing is what I went with um, as I said still don't know if it was the right choice uh, we'll have to see later on and this build will be CC free I will not um, I will just use every pack I want um, I'm not going to limit myself with such a huge build mm. so I think that for now that's all I have to say um, I wish you a good watching I wish you enjoy what you've seen you can write down in the comment section what you think but I think that at this stage you cannot think too much um, and you will see me struggle with the roofing as well like come on can someone please teach me how to roof properly or fix the roofing tool because oh my goodness that was hard that was hella hard to do so as I said that's all from me for now so bye for now